Okay. This is another Timu find. Uh, ACDC. It's a uh, a helping hand, a uh, magnifier with auxiliary clip, AC-DC interchangeable 5 LED. So let's get this open and see what's in here. Bag of parts, magnifying glass, and a base. And wow, instructions. Uh, we kind of talked about in the past, I really don't do instructions until I put a basketball goal together backwards. Don't ask. Or me and my son both put a basketball goal together backwards. See what we got here in the parts. Hmm, so that looks like a really good place for that. There, put your soldering iron in there, and we are going to run this off of the charger I've got plugged in back here. Pretty bright. See, see how bright it may or may not be. Turn it off. Let's see. So you have cut out so you can center this. that I can tell right now that there's not going to be a lot of adjustment in the clamps so that's not super great hard to turn that while it's on there Okay, so surely that goes that away. And that is going down there. Okay. 
me so we engage the the ball to swivel Don't you tighten that up for there and of course your height adjustment would be with this and then same here let's get the magnifying glass on here it cinch down and I'll try and get this in the shot a little better try and get this at the high as you can get it yeah it's a whole lot going on there in a very small package Take that off for now. One problem I can see is if this rod was higher, she can get a little bit more out of this magnifying glass. Uh, and actually, a lot of times it wouldn't even be needed. It's just really stiff. Um, not real flexible. So, so I can find something like a circuit board. See that clip there is just it's bent. Rotate this out of the way. So you can't you can't take these clips and move them in. So I mean this has some uses. Uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs down to be honest with you because it's limited it's over there these two being the same length and these being a fixed distance makes it really hard and you don't really want to clamp all up in here yeah I mean not, it, it, there, there's another one that's got a lot of fingers it's, it's uh, I don't know what kind of shaft this is called, but it's almost like seal tight. But uh, the flexible shafts like that with the alligator clips on the end, that would be really the one to go with. I mean, it's, it's limited uses, uh, small stuff. Uh, I think you can get it rigid enough to actually solder on. Uh, I've got a TS-101 and a HS-02 and a generic soldering uh, gun coming, uh, well, uh, soldering iron in addition to a soldering gun that I'll be testing, and I may try to do some testing on this right here uh, just to see how, how well it may or may not work. If I can make it work or make some adjustments on this, but I really say that the, uh, the one that's got the flexible fingers with alligator clips on it is really going to be the better option so take it for what it's worth thanks i appreciate you uh there will be an affiliate link below in the uh description 
that helps me with Timu if you click on that. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks and God bless.